Hey, welcome back. Now, in this next video series, we're going to focus on configuring the cable TV component. The cable TV component is pretty simple to set up. Um, so just take notes and, and I'll show you. So we've gone through configuring Kodi, upgrading Kodi to another version. We've also gone through um, installing the Aries Wizard and configuring the spins build. So everything that I do in here is going to be based upon the spins build. So now what will take place to configure the uh, the setup for um, for the cable you're going to go down here to file manager click on file manager and then what you're going to do is add a source the source that you're going to add will be H T T P colon forward slash forward slash e p g dot ninja click done and then for the name you could just type in E P G space ninja or whatever you want to call it. Okay and then click done now click OK alright so now that um, source has been added so now get out of here you will now go to system or you can just go here to add-ons click on add-ons uh, but for you that may have installed a different build let's just focus on going to system and then you can scroll down to add-ons click on add-ons and then go to install from repository scroll down to epg.ninja add-ons click on that and then go to services click on that and then you're gonna see the stalker epg updater click on that and then click on install okay it'll go through it'll download it and it will enable it okay now that it's enabled you can click on stalker EPG and you can go to configure okay to get the cable working you have to have a donation number and you have to have a MAC address okay and you'll enter both of those you'll enter the donation number here you will enter the MAC address here once you do that this wizard this updater will configure the um, it'll configure the PVR stalker uh, client now to purchase a donation number and a MAC address you'll have to go or just to purchase uh, a donation number and then you'll you'll be able to configure your MAC address you'll have to go to a well, matter of fact you can actually go to IPTV private server dot com so scratch out that papio.tv. You'll go to iptvprivateserver.com and there you can purchase your donation number. So you will um, 
you'll enter your donation number here and the donation number um, usually is it's usually um, a 12 character number so you would just type that in here and of course I'm not going to type an actual donation number because they they cost money but um, the price tag uh, it, it, it varies depending on the sites that you go to but IPTV private server dot com that's probably the best place to purchase that from so you'll put your donation number in and then you will put a a, a MAC address in and the MAC address will always start with um, 00, zero colon one a and the neat thing about having this remote control that comes with your Solus Connect SC S805 is that um, you have a number pad so you can just type the number in there and then hit colon and then put you know all the other numbers you know in there okay and then you would just click done and then you will select configure PVR stalker and then um, when you purchase your donation number you're going to be assigned to an IPTV portal. You just need to know what that number is because it could be one dot IPTV private server dot TV or it could be you know you can go to all these other different places to purchase that at. Um, it could be eight dot IPTV private server. It could be seven, six, five. So you just need to know that number. Uh, and once you have all that information in there, you'll just click OK and um, it will start uh, updating the PVR um, stalker uh, client okay so once you click OK you can now click on enable And when you click on enable, it's going to pause for a little bit while it enables the uh, stalker um, or configures the uh, PVR client. If the PVR client is uh, disabled, you have to go into the PVR client section and, and, and then enable it. If it locks up on you, which it may do, then you have to get out. You can try going back in, but if it's truly just locked up, click the home button. And here I, I have the opportunity to uh, just click close. I don't want to wait. But let's say you didn't get that opportunity to click that, then you could just go into settings. You could go over here to other, go to more settings, go down to apps, then go to Cody, and then just click for stop. Okay. While you're in here, you can go in and clear the cash out. And that's usually a good thing to do just to... Uh, reduce any kind of buffering that may occur click on the home button so that way you don't have to spend a lot of time backing out of all those menus so you go back into Cody and then you you will go back to the application and 
and start configuring it uh, wherever you may have left off at. So I'm going to wait for it to load up. Alright, so I'm going to go back to system, then click on add-ons. I'm going to go into install from repository. And I'm sure all of my settings are, are still there. So I'm going to go into services, then go to stalker EPG updater. And I'm just going to say, so it's enabled. Okay, so I'm good. So now, what I have to do is back out of this EPG Ninja add-ons, click on my add-ons, and then go to PVR clients. So go to PVR clients. And then scroll down to Stalker Client. You see how it's disabled? You're going to have to go and enable it. Once you enable it, now you can go into Configure, right? And you probably won't see the settings configured. They're not going to be configured. See? So right now they're not configured. But remember this location because I'm not going back in here because I'm not going to let you see my 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 code because then you'll be using uh, a satisfied customer's account and then I won't be a satisfied customer anymore <laughs> okay so it's enabled the stalker client so I back out of this and I'm going to go back to install from repository I'm going to go to EPG Ninja add-ons. I'm going to go back to services. And then I'm going to click on the Stalker EPG updater. Okay. So it's, it's, it's disabled. But I'm going to click on enable. And when I click on enable. Then it, it actually installed, updated the PVR client with the settings I put in there. So the settings that I put in there, they're they're all configured now. They're in there. So now I know that the settings are in there. So now that that's done now I go back to system and I actually click on system this time and I'm going to go to live TV. Um, but before I enable live TV, before I enable it, I'm going to um, shut down Cody. I'm shutting it, shutting it down, and then I'm going to go back into it, okay, let it load back up again, and then I'm going to enable the TV component, and then once I enable the TV component, it's going to start loading up the channels. Now, you may get a access denied, and if you do, um, wait, be patient because it'll probably authenticate on the next access attempt. If you get two access denied, then it's going to stop trying to access the live TV. So then what you have to do is um, reset your, your, um, your MAC address. And all you have to do is, um, um, I think you, you'll just need to send an email uh, to... The IPTV stalker guys. Okay, so you see I got that authentication felt retry, right? 
and uh, it may go on and start loading up now if it doesn't then all I need to do is just uh, reset now I purchased a few licenses uh, for my family so because I've done that um, I have some 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 extra licenses so the way I deal with mine is a little bit different than the way you would deal with yours if you just purchase one license. But if you look up there in the upper right hand corner, you see where it's loading up channels. It says Golden Premiere 1. So it's going to start going through. It's going to start loading up all these channels. And it's going to run through that. How does the TV work? So now you would go to um, not IPTV, but you would go to TV, right? Click on Guide. And then when you click on guide, you just have to be patient. It's going to uh, load up the guide. And when you saw all that, the, those channels scrolling across the uh, screen, that's what those were. Th those were uh, guide entries. And so now, this is the cable. This is how it works. So um, it's pretty neat. Um, a lot of the channels are going to be in standard definition, but they're starting to get more and more high definition channels so that's a good thing so um, you, uh, you have all these channels so it's, just, it's a whole bunch of them um, so it's a whole bunch of them but you have like for instance ESPN so I can click on ESPN if I want and um, I can watch that. Okay, so this is ESPN right here, and it's in pretty good, pretty pretty good quality. I mean, this is one of those that has more of that HD uh, video um, look to it. So uh, it's really a good product. You're gonna you're gonna really enjoy the 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 Kodi application you're going to enjoy the Solus Connect device you're going to enjoy the performance of it the speed to the picture quality and it's going to really enhance your uh, your TV watching experience so this is how you set up the cable I, I hope that you've enjoyed the the videos that I've done thus far but I think these were some of the more important videos that you needed to see so you could really get a good understanding on how you you can really, really enhance your TV watching experience and cut down on your cable bill and, and, and your Netflix and Hulu. You don't need all that. All you need is a Solus Connect device by visiting solusconnect.com. I've been uh, using this device for about two months. It's really been a great device, and uh, it's been my pleasure to, to make a video and um, 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 help this company grow and get into more homes. So uh, now that you've brought a device, um, you enjoy it. Tell your friends about it. Tell them uh, how to how to gain access to the website, and uh, encourage them to purchase a, a a device off the website. They won't regret it. They'll enjoy it, and they'll think that you're a great friend for doing it. Okay, thank you.